this is Air Hyper Viper Beam here, and I'm going to be showing a tutorial on Tremor. You have some basic tools here with his rock shot, low shot, and I'm using no variation because I feel like the character on his own is good enough without the use of variations. But regardless of how I feel, let's get into this tutorial here. So first and foremost, the fancy thing I want to cover now is the run cancel off of EX Stone Fist. And you do it by holding down the two and down back two. You hold down two and then you run forward. You do the dash and then you block to run and then you can attack immediately out of that. Alright, so that's that covered. And there's combos off of that, of course. If I can get this right here. Okay, so no. Don't worry, I don't suck. Let me try again. Boom, 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 boom. And you thought I couldn't do it. Thought I couldn't do it. I did it anyway. Alright, so there's always that. And you can do the same combo. The last one was 11 hit for 28, so this one was 9 for 28. You can do the same combo and it gets the same damage. However, you're not using a resource for the meterless combo. Of course, that's why it's called the meterless combo. Not using a resource. That was a phone. I just fell. You know, I'm doing this from. You know, not really in not really in my chair, so I'm doing this from my bed because there's I'm very tired, my back hurts, I overstretched it today. Anyway, back to the main subject here. We have all the basic moves that we need as Trevor. We've got the overhead, we've got the EX reverse one, we have the reversals, armored reversals and a stone punch, an EX stone punch and an EX down back one. However, let's uh you know, yeah, let's put some of those reversals into practice. So we see here, Kotokan, he does his big armor chop. And most more often than not, I'm going to either trade with him or I'm going to um, push him away with, with my uh, stronger move. And you know, let's see if I can prove the same thing here. That's his over, double overhead, his overhead mid chop. And the key to this is you have to do it second. That's the key to armor in this game. You do it last. The last person to do armor is the one who's going to have the move go through. So there's always that. Don't forget. All right. So we're still here going, 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 going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where am I? Oh yeah, down four. Okay, so we're talking about. So I got the pokes going on now. I got down four, down three, down one. Those are all his low pokes are pretty good. I'd like to say. And down four is good because you do down four and the air rocks. His neutral jump kick is good because it points directly down at the other guy. And you, I like to double tap it. I like to brush it. You know, three to four because I want it to hit when I do my corner combos. And the same with uh. His neutral jump punch, I like to brush it because it has a nice lot, it expands down a little bit. So it reaches a lot further down to catch those people who are, well, you don't do it like that to catch the people who are ducking, but you get the idea. And then we have forward one going on. And forward one is seven frames on startup. It's a really, this is going to be your punishing tool. You're going to be using this to punish a lot of block things seven frames on start up very fast however it is a high so you can duck under it but you can do forward one two one if they block forward one two one is plus two on block so have, uh, before we get moving we are going to talk about uh, goodness gracious let's talk about two one down four up four and the good stuff about that two one down four up four used to be a lot better when two was a mid and it's still good now, it's just not the same like it used to be. So now, keep going here. I'm sorry, this is my first time doing like a voiced over tutorial, so there's a lot of stuff I'm paying attention to. I got this ticker over here in the corner, the time and all that. So yeah. So we have back one down four, and back one down four up four. Both of those are really good, and I'm not mentioning the frame data or how safe or 
how punishable these are for a reason. And I will tell you, and we'll get to that in just a few minutes, don't worry. But yeah, back, back one, down four, up four is a very good string. I use it a lot. Like after a hard knockdown, you can run up after you put rock, you've uh, done down back three. To put those rocks in the air, you can run forward and do back one, down four. To see if you can catch them blocking low. And there's always that. Back three, two. I like that move because it's the, uh, it's I think it's his best sounding move. I mean, just listen to that. Boom. But it reaches really far too. It reaches really far and it gives you a nice confirms, especially with the overhead punch because he takes a step forward. Bring that fist right down on their head. It's beautiful. And you won't believe people get hit by that like all day. It's ridiculous. But tremor plays, you have to remember what your string looks like. And we we got we can all go back and forth, we can talk about the frame data on that string. You have to know what it looks like. And you have to, you know, in certain situations you have to wager the you have to wager the wit the risk versus the reward. You know. And I mean in this and I mean what and I wanna say that you could take the last hit of back 3-2-2 two, two, because it's not going to do a lot of damage. But if you just sit block that the whole time, that back 3-2 is going to turn into an overhead, back 3-2 overhead punch. And nobody likes that. I mean, I'm sure you know if you're a charmer player, you've gotten the mail, the hate mail because of it. <laughs> Let me stop playing. I did get hate mail one time. It was from... The one time I got hate mail it was from a katana player, and she was saying, and he said I threw too many fans. I was like, okay, whatever. I ran it back, and then he beat me up again. But it, I don't know. I'll get him next time. You know, but this isn't my place for complaining about matchups and everything. This is the tutorial here, and I want to help you guys. So if you can, just leave in the comments if this helped or not. But anyway, let's get back to it. Back three two. We've established that that's good. We've established that that's good. I like that pose. His idle pose is really sick. Alright. So moving along. I like that zombie over there too. The stage is so sick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, tension's all over the place. It's all over the place. Do that rock. That's the best. Alright. So back 2-4 is a... Uh, I like that string because it gives a lot of pushback on block. I don't use it as often because it's not as safe as I would like it to be for a move like that. It gives a lot of pushback on block. But still, don't be afraid to use it. You can kind of jail with forward one. Maybe you can get a down one after it, but nothing after that move is guaranteed. So always just be wary. You can kind of see here I'm trying to get that to work out. You can kind of get a down four to come out after that, but you're plus one, so you're going to have to be, you know, you're going to have to have some serious execution to try and jail with your low pokes here. Moving forward, I'm just look, I'm just in the moves just looking at stuff here, trying to make sure that I can get something that I can use afterwards to kind of jail. Well, let me take a sip real quick. I was talking. Goodness, I gotta wash out that metal thermos over there. It's been a long time since I've had juice, so I'm gonna wash that thing out and hopefully there's no bug in there that's gonna kill me. But yeah, back 3 2, you can kind of get a 1 after it. It won't really jail, it just feels like it. It feels like it does, but it doesn't. Alright. Moving along, I want to say that some, a lot of his special moves are really good, like uh, the run cancel, the stone punch is really good because you can take that hit of armor and you can run forward and punish. And then there's also the idea of using the EX low wheel and the stone cancel like I'm doing there. You can do the stone cancel, it's really good. You can do a low wheel. 
the EX little wheel that is plus nine on block, so you can continue your pressure from there. You also unblock the run can the EX stone punch run cancel. It's listed as neutral. I've seen people not able to punish out of it. And I say not being able to punish out of it because people will try to push buttons to get out of your pressure. And I've seen people get hit. So I'm not really too sure how that goes. I'll have to play some sets offline with somebody to get that going. I got. Um, I know a guy that lives nearby. He says he's a Molina player, so I'll play with him. You can't be too far away. So I'll play with him. Help. I'll see if he's in school tomorrow before I go to class. I mean Monday. Before I go to class, I'll try to play with him. Yeah. Again, I'm sorry, I get sidetracked very easy. But while we're here in the corner, speaking of the corner, we're gonna talk about the throw, the meter burn throw. Tremor is a character that benefits definitely off of that because of all this damage he can do in the corner. 30% meterless into a standing reset, 24% into a standing reset. And then you can do your, then you can finish your combo out, or you could end that with an uppercut, and then one, two, three, into up rocks. The throw is also pretty sick looking too. I like it, give it to him again. Boom, boom, get out my face. I like it, boom, boom. Get out my face. And sometimes they'll say stuff too. Like, I will crack you open. <laughs> that character is so sick. Man, it sounds like he swallowed eight rolls of salami before he was ten. Goodness. Anyways, salami aside. Um, what I want to talk about now is I want to talk about some of the... I'm going to talk about some of the corner carry this character has. And that will push you to the corner. Hella easy. But I won't talk about... I'm going to save the corner carry for the second part of this video. But for now, we're going to look at just the basics. We're going to look at some of the technical stuff. And the technical stuff, the block pressure and all that. Now, what I do... What I like to do is if I do the stone punch, I'll do it maybe one time on block. And then I'll maybe do like the stone, like the rock shot cancel afterwards. That's what I like. You do the rock shot cancel. And it'll put you back at neutral. And it's meterless. The only, I think, thing about it is it takes half your stamina to do. So it's definitely an expense. It's definitely expensive trying to keep up pressure with Tremor because you're using a lot of resources. But I think overall, technically speaking, Tremor is a very sound character. He has a lot of good normals. He has a lot of really good tools to help him out in some matchups. And he also has a lot of he has a lot of armor moves and he has a lot of moves that give him plus frames on some things but we're going to cover more of that in the next video so i will see you guys there